apology. Hey everyone, welcome back to Lives on Reddit. Don't forget to subscribe to be a for lifer. A few years ago, I made a post in the subreddit talking about why abortion was wrong. I heard a lot of people, I was being hateful and ignorant. I was 13 at the time and I didn't even stop to consider that what my mom and other people around me had said about abortion might be wrong. I was stupid and naive and I would like to apologize to anybody that I might have hurt. I have come to realize that people who have had abortions do so because 9 out of 10 times they are in a bad position and are unable to care for the baby or cannot give birth safely or do not have the ability, want, or energy to care for the baby. I should have understood this before making that post, and I am deeply sorry for my words and my actions. Edit when I said 9 out of 10 times, I meant that the vast majority of times people have abortions do so because of very serious and valid reasons. However, I realize that this is exclusionary and that all reasons for abortion have validity. Thank you for educating me about this in the comments. You sound a lot like how I used to be, the product of being raised in an anti-abortion environment but saw the light. It's a big thing to admit you were mistaken, and good on you for doing it. I was shooting my mouth off about it at 13 without knowing diddly squat, and society is saturated in pregnancy and baby worship even among pro-choicers. It's fabulous they came around. I'm 26 now, but I truly believed abortion was wrong until maybe 17. I always just thought I'd have the kid, even if I didn't want to because an accidental pregnancy wasn't going to happen to me, right? It still hasn't, but I expanded my thinking and just realizing in general that there is nothing wrong with not wanting to continue a pregnancy. I'm angry for you. You were conformed by the adults in your life to believe something they wanted you to. I grew up the same way. It angers me when parents raise their children to believe what they want them to believe. Children should be raised to form their own opinions and beliefs. A part of me feels like I should be angry at you, but I can't bring myself to do it because I know it's not your fault. I think we both know how toxic the pro-life mindset is. It's a mindset filled with judgment and sometimes even hatred. I'm glad you took the time to form an opinion of it for yourself. It shows maturity and strength. I'm not a fan of my mother in the slightest, but that is the one thing she did right is to let me decide for myself which religion or belief system to follow because she grew up in a religious environment and wasn't a fan. I chose to follow none of them because four-year-old me heard the Noah's Ark story and was like, really though? That seems like BS. And she didn't question me on it. She was like, okay, me too. The only people who questioned me were the kids in my class who thought I was some sort of demon for not believing in Jesus, despite the school being non-denominational. And that is the scary part because there were like six at the time. Ah, indoctrinating children. This took a slight tangent from the topic of abortion, but usually the pro-life side is religiously motivated from my experience. Many pro-lifers go to pro-choice spaces to preach at people and mock them. Few ever apologize. Thank you for being willing to understand and for being humble. It's not a great thing to do, but to be honest, it's what most kids with anti-abortion parents would do. So don't be too hard on yourself. It sounds like you came around very young, which is impressive. There are people who lived their whole lives being like that. Keep being awesome. I grew up attending a Catholic church with anti-abortion posters in the foyer. I didn't question it until I was about 14. It's admirable that you learned and formed your own opinions and we need to stop berating people for how they were conditioned if they rise above that. I changed my views on abortion in my 20s when I truly learned empathy for others. Thank you for posting this. In high school, I was so pro-life, I couldn't even have a rational discussion about it without getting over-emotional and outraged. 
I was an uneducated virgin and it wasn't until I went to college I realized I was basing all my arguments on things I didn't actually even believe. Growth is everything and I'm proud of you. I was reading my old journals from 9th grade English class. I had written my then opinions on abortion. I was appalled at how naive and uneducated I was about the subject. The phrase that sticks with me most is, if a woman is dumb enough to get pregnant, she should have to see it through. Ugh, it makes me cringe so hard. Obviously my views have changed dramatically having grown and learned that we are not always in control of what happens to us. The important thing to remember is that we can all change and grow. We just have to be open to it. We can have opposing views, just don't be hurtful about it. It's incredible how much internalized misogyny so many of us are raised with. I grew up in the Bible Belt and things I used to think about abortion makes me want to bury myself alive now. It's so awful and cringe. Jokes on everyone who filled my head with that poison. I grew up to be a liberal feminist atheist who's had two abortions. I went through the same thing. I grew up in a conservative household and just parroted the things that were taught to me. I won a pro-life essay contest at 14. Now I'm pro-choice because I've grown and changed over the years. Everyone should have the opportunity to grow and change and you should be proud of yourself for doing so. I'm always happy to see young people educating themselves and freeing themselves from the ideologies of their parents. This. I was a perfect parrot. I cringe when I think about the things I've said until I grew up and got out of my bubble. My mom dragged me and my brother to anti-abortion protests when I was about eight. It was horrifying. Unalive fetus and blood pictures everywhere. I imagine this contributes to my never wanting children. I was so anti-abortion all through my teens because that's how I was told to think. Unfortunately, many of us suffer from parental inlaid beliefs that are not necessarily right or reasonable. But to our parents' defense, they grew up in a different time. My hope is that we can all do our best to be kind and to never judge. Bro, I thought the same as you, OMG. When I was 13, I thought abortion was morally wrong and that women who got them should have to suffer consequences for their actions. And if they didn't want the kid, just give it up for adoption. So easy, right? Yeah, I was a dummy 13 year old and my god, I was so stupid and I feel so bad now. Ugh! No one should have to be forced to go through the heck of giving birth and that's something I never hear those pro-lifers bringing up. And do they value a clump of cells over a living mother? They just use women as human incubators and it is disgusting. They couldn't give a rat's behind once the kid is born. My god, I was so ignorant, so I feel you. Your apology is greatly appreciated, but don't feel too bad. We all say stupid things and hold ill-thought-out opinions on certain things at that age. We're impressionable then, and it can feel good to push boundaries using emotive subjects. It's part of maturation. When I was 12 to 13, I advocated for mandatory sterilization and euthanasia of poor people in my town. Over 20 years later, I'm a social worker. My main job is advocating for the rights and dignity of those same poor people. My values and views change as I matured and so have yours. It's natural. Honestly, you are awesome. Not only for becoming better educated and forming your own opinion, but especially for coming back here to apologize and admit you may not have been kind or correct. Even on an anonymous forum, people rarely have the bravery or self-awareness to do so, and that is admirable. If you don't mind, I can share my story. I've never had an abortion. I would have to if I became pregnant. I have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos, among other health issues. Mainly, it has severely affected my joints, mostly my knees and my hips and ankles and shoulders to some extent. I'm in pain daily. I've had chronic pain for about 25 years. I've dislocated my knees altogether around 70 to 80 times. I wish I was exaggerating. And have had two knee surgeries so far in addition to the pain. I would immediately be at high risk. 
not just due to the exponential increase in risk of injuring myself as a result of my hips tilting outwards and the relaxing hormone produced, but also because I would be very high risk for many complications such as placental abruption since my connected tissues are crap. I honestly don't know if I would live through a pregnancy. My niece and sister barely lived and it was a premature c-section and her eds isn't as severe as mine i just don't want to die you know just thought i would add to the stories of women that have or have had to have abortions whoa 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 whoa, whoa. don't leave subscribe video for a lifer yeah